Artist Charles Wolf here, back again for another painting video. Today I'm going to cover my 12 by 24 inch canvas with some matte liquid medium, spreading it out with my flat wash brush. I'm going to cover the majority of this canvas with my liquid medium. The medium works as sort of a lubricant, allowing the paint to flow and to blend more easily, as we will be doing a lot of blending to get a very subtle, smooth effect for this abstract that I'm going to create for you all today. For a little while now, I've been wanting to create an abstract that would work as a simple approach to create a very nice looking piece of decor for your home. Here I'm taking some Naples yellow, a little bit of the white, and I'm putting it on in this upper left corner, and eventually I'm gonna cover most of the canvas with it. Keeping my brushwork light. Here I'm going to gently blend this out, start to move it across the entire canvas, grab some more of the liquid medium so it runs better, and continue on painting. Like I said, I've really wanted to create a piece of art that featured a simple, reproducible technique, and in addition, was extremely customizable to fit your personal aesthetic tastes. Perhaps you are renovating your home and you have a room that just needs something extra added. Very cheaply, you can create your own perfect piece of decor that really anyone can do. Blending out here with my flat wash brush. I picked three colors today, Naples Yellow, Titanium White, and Cobalt Blue. Blue and yellow, of course, make the green, and the white will lighten the entire thing up. Now that I've covered most of my canvas with the yellow and some of the white, I'm going to intensify the top half with more yellow. You can see I've switched from quick strokes to long flowing strokes from left to right, starting on one side of the canvas and going all the way to the opposite side. Here I'm putting in some cobalt blue in a few spots. Lots and lots of paint, bringing that upwards and pulling this down here somewhat randomly. My initial idea was to have a diagonal blue streak coming down across, like so, but in a moment you'll see that I settle upon a more horizontal composition, more unified by using a larger brush. I'll come back to that in a moment. This painting is very easy to do, really anyone could create it and that is why I really am so happy with how this turned out. I really wanted a piece that would be easy to create and make just a wonderful piece of decor for your home. You can pick colors that are complementary to the aesthetic of your room. Find colors that you like, just a few. You can start to create a wonderful looking piece that will fit perfectly in with the rest of the art, the furniture, colors on the wall of your own home or office. Here I've switched to a larger 3 inch brush, horizontal strokes, blending the blue into the yellow. Because I have a good deal of that liquid medium already onto the canvas, everything blends together very easily. At first, I relied on quick, short strokes, but eventually I settled on longer, more continuous strokes, moving from left to right, going across the entire canvas. 
I'm really trying to obfuscate any of the smaller brush strokes and create a more unified composition through repetition of the actual brushwork. I'm going to keep blending this until the transitions are very smooth and I get a very peaceful, calming effect, hence the title, Calm. I'm going to continue to blend and you can see that the green is emerging as the yellow is coming into contact with the blue. In the center there I have the white showing up very strongly, having a nice light blue, and at the bottom the blue is intensified. Really trying to get rid of all of the brush strokes. Here I'm adding more of the titanium white to the center with my 3 inch brush. And took a little bit of the matte liquid medium there to help with the blending process. This technique is so simple to do that really a child could do it. And in fact, if you have any kids and would like to give this a try, they can have a really great time picking out the colors and collaborating together with you on this piece. Of course, if you don't have kids, you can always enjoy this just doing it yourself. When you're painting this, don't forget about the edges of your canvas. Working on the top here and along the sides. I don't always show the spots where I'm painting the sides, but I thought it would be good to remind you that there are sides on your canvas. If you're not using a canvas board, but an actual canvas, you should definitely be sure to paint your sides. Okay, continuing to blend this section a bit better. I have a little bit of yellow on my brush now. Lightly blending upwards. Okay, back to my flat wash brush. Grabbing the Naples yellow. I really want to intensify the yellow at the top. And here in the bottom third of the canvas. While today I'm working with these saturated pastel colors, these light blues and yellows, you definitely can paint something much more fiery, perhaps using colors like Namthal Crimson, a nice bright red, perhaps some Cadmium Orange Hue, a nice bright orange, or even bring in some more of the Cobalt Blue, have it transition into a purple between the blue and the red. That could be very fascinating. Be careful about putting the blue with the orange though, you will end up creating brown. Okay, some more blue into the center of this canvas. Again, I'm blending here at the top, trying to get rid of my brush work. Working my way downwards. And now I've reached the center, and I'm blending out this blue, grabbing a bit more of my matte liquid medium. Put a little blue at the bottom here, just for fun. Blend that out. And a little blue here at the top. I'm going to keep blending until it's very smooth. If you find a section is not working for you, or it's too static, then grab one of the other colors and place it right on top and start to lightly blend that in. Back to the edges of the canvas here. 
another pass with the paint. Using a very light feather touch to blend this out. Back to my Naples yellow. I love the green that is forming between the blue and the yellow. Such a nice color. If you've never tried painting before, I strongly encourage you to give it a try. It's a lot of fun to do, it's very enjoyable, and it's a great hobby to get into. You can create some wonderful pieces as gifts for other people that you know for birthdays or other holidays, and they are usually very touched by the thoughtfulness of a personalized gift. I thank you all for watching this tutorial on how to create this abstract calm. Last few steps here, I'm bringing in some of the titanium white for contrast and variation. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.